Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel for a quick video on hopefully how to fix some of the issues with Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. The crashes that crashes on release pretty much. So first quick fix I'm going to talk about while the game plays is first find the game file. So to do this on Steam, essentially you click on the game, click properties. You then go to the installed files tab and verify integrity of the game. And that essentially will scan for any broken files, anything like that, and will correct it. Now on the Epic Game Launcher, you click on Library. You click on the three dots next to the Ratchet and Clank. Manage. Verify. And it will check and download any files again. Next one you want to check is your GPU drivers, if that hasn't fixed it. Because there was essentially an update released today so that could be the next most common issue which is fucking nightmare now there is windows user no well you know what, i'll just call it troubleshoot problem number three windows 11 users public service announcement essentially the somnet games released that windows 11 had a problem with it where you've pretty much got an incorrect prompt so essentially if you go to the Steam installation folder, usually it's c.dash program files open brackets x86 for slash steam. Right click on Steam exe properties, go to run this program in compatibility mode. Is not checked. Click change setting for all users and hit apply and restart the computer. Now that one I didn't use myself. Usually the verify and the GPU fixed it for me, but that is essentially what you do is hit the Steam EXE, right click it, hit properties, then go to the compatibility tab and make sure run is not in compatibility mode. Very simple fix. But yeah, next one is let Windows automatically manage virtual memory. So to do this, you're going to want to type in sysdm.cpl in the search bar. You want to click on, you pretty much want to open it and you want to click on the advanced tab. Then go to settings under performance. Here, select the advanced tab again. Then go to virtual memory and click change. And do the wee tick. Essentially this tick goes and makes the computer automate it for itself and press ok once you've checked it any updates like this it's always best restart the computer in my personal opinion next update your windows that is pretty self-explanatory go to your windows update and check update direct x and c sharp uh, redistributables if english sucks tonight but that isn't too difficult. Usually you can do that automatically by doing the direct X and user runtime installer. Switch to, switch to your dedicated GPU. That's mainly on the laptop, especially some laptops do switch off the dedicated CPU when you're not on high performance mode. So that is one thing to definitely make sure you are running on the correct ones. Or you can do it by going to the NVIDIA control panel, opening the 3D settings, then to manage 3D settings, perform uh, program settings, then you click on Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, go to the drop down menu and change your change it to whatever GPU you have for the preferred processor for it. Essentially, your NVIDIA processor should show up as high performance NVIDIA processor and just save the changes. Radian, I believe it's something similar. I believe you open the Radian settings. You then navigate to preferences, followed by additional settings. Here, select power, then switchable graphics application settings. Select Ratchet and Clank. And if Ratchet and Clank is on the list, add the application to it essentially and then that should solve it and essentially that should fix it for that there and last but not least is to check your antivirus sometimes game files can flag up as issues so yeah that's the 
essentially add it to exception list on your antivirus and then that should solve it anyways with that there hopefully this will help as it did minimize the crashes on my side so i do hope it was able to help you it is an outstanding game it is graphically stunning and i'm just as a long time ratchet and clank fan i'm just glad i'm able to play the game again without having to buy a ps5 anyways thanks everyone for watching please like and subscribe hope you enjoyed this quick video and if you haven't already please do join us in discord if anyone does have any further questions yeah please do drop a comment i'll try and answer it the best of my knowledge or if i can't i shall try and find out for you anyways with everyone thanks again for watching please like and subscribe and i shall hopefully see you over on stream or in multiple games anyways thanks everyone